but it's crazy because like because of the value of possession that we still feel it's still hard like it's still a manual switch, um, switch of like coming out of that mindset of yeah. oh this is mine it's like yeah. no this it really is ours yeah. it has to be yeah <laughs> we're on the way um we're gonna stop at Bucky's. We didn't get a chance to meet the Wilcox because we left a little bit later, but there was a point I was um I was showering and I was finishing showering and I was just taking a deep breath and like I felt um I looked outside at the the garden. I just felt that we can like have patience with ourselves and take our time and make sure we get you know there in one piece and not just in one piece physically, but, you know, mentally, spiritually as well. Um, which is, y'all, a very um, <laughs> different way of me thinking. And it's 100% relationship-based because that that's just the way Jade is. But normally I'm the one, like, on I-10 by 10 <laughs> type energy, which I actually started with yesterday. But um, today feels different. And we, we, that I can remember, like so far, I, I can't think of anything that we forgot that we need, which is very new. And part of that's because, like, switching to relationship based. So, like, I don't know if you caught it, but earlier when you was like, can MJ go with you? And I was like, oh, no, I gotta, you know, change his seat out for the car, and then I gotta change it back and all that. But then I paused and said, wait, yes, he can go. Because we should make decisions not based on logic or what's most convenient or easier, but based on love. Love found through the relationships. So like the relationship of my son wanted to ride with wanting to ride with me, but I'm saying no because I gotta run the seat. Like God gave me arms and legs and a mind and all of those things. Not to think, well, would it be easier to leave him here or take him? But to actually do the deed of moving the seat so that he can ride with me and moving it back. And also, I obviously giving you whatever that relief was of not having him crying the whole time I'm gone because he wants to get to me. So, like, that led to then getting out of the shower, looking outside of the plants, and how they're taking their time and being patient. And they're coming and get there and being like whoa I can operate the same way like and I prayed for patience this morning but it's like we have to obviously actually do it and think on that level love the father to that point of wanting everybody around us to also experience that love from him so if that means we are taking our time we be taking our time we are traveling so far peacefully and we got about five hours to go. <laughs> Want you to fall in deeper. Pour your joy now you me so. We're doing a rendezvous, baby, right now. I keep dreaming it's not enough. I pick you up every time we do. We play cause we know this feeling's new. I feel in uptown, girl, since I met you. Micah, this is his first time. No way. It is. I was honestly shocked. Micah. Micah, this is your first time on a bike. He's done like a trike yeah. where he gets pushed and he does the pedals, but this is his first time on an actual little trike. Gotta move your feet forward. Push it, like pedal, bike. pedal. You gotta push your foot. There you go. Look. Uh oh. <laughs> You gotta go straight, big boy. Oh, is it? We had taken the one side off Oh, okay, okay. Here, Micah, let me have your backpack. Let me have your backpack. It'll be easier with your backpack off. Let's sit, let me take it. Yeah, go ahead, Micah. Look at Micah! Go, Micah, go! Go, my MJ! <laughs> my love, my love, my love